hello and welcome back to my channel i feel very disproportionate today and i'm not sure why but today is a video that one of you requested um and i actually mean that like it's not like that influencer lingo um somebody actually requested this and i think that it's a great idea and i don't know why i haven't thought about it before i might have at some point but i don't know but Today is my Lily Sadugi collection video. And if you don't know, Lily Sadugi is a accessories designer, like, um, and she has her own brand, Lily Sadugi, so her namesake brand. Um, I'm pretty sure that Lily was um a designer at J. Crew for a while and then kind of left and started her own brand. And she is most known for her headbands, and I think she is responsible for the resurgence of headbands in the past like maybe three years and I am thrilled with the headband resurgence like very Blair Waldorf um I'm very excited and I have been very excited for a while because I always loved headbands and even like since I was a baby my mom said that she would always like have bows and headbands and clips and hats and everything in my hair and I would leave it on like I would have like the biggest bow and I would just be happy as a clam and so I've always liked things on my head if that makes any sense and when I was younger I always loved headbands and then they kind of went out of style and um I'm like trying to hide my double chin. I'm just feeling like, ugh. But um, they, I've always really liked headbands and I'm very happy that they are officially back in style so I don't feel silly wearing them. Now, over the years, I have tried to not buy Lily Sudugi headbands because they are quite expensive. I think the cheapest headband you could buy from her at this point is like $65, maybe less, depending on like which headband it is. I'm maybe like $45. Um, I'm like very self-conscious today, so I'm going to keep like touching everything and like, I'm sorry. I'm just like not having like a good body day. Um, like I can see my double chin and it's annoying the crap out of me. So I want to, what if I just like did the video like this? Um, so I've tried to avoid buying Lily Sadugi um, headbands because they're so expensive and I tried like knockoffs. I've tried um, other brands from Nordstrom's, from Target, from Etsy, from everywhere and it's just like it's not the same. It is not the same. Lily Sadugi have, have the, ha oh my god. Lily Sadugi has the best headbands. They're comfortable. They don't give me a headache. They stay on my head. They're insanely good. And I have spent a lot of money on headbands, but I wear them every single day, um, basically every single day, even when I'm like sitting at my computer, even if I'm just like laying on the couch watching television, I usually have a headband in my hair because I'm just comfortable with my hair pulled back. Right now, I'm going to try on all my headbands for you, but so right now my hair is blow dried um, with my dry bar blow double shot blow dryer brush. Um, but you could tell that it is <laughs> two different colors because a few years ago I dyed my hair and you could also see the nice strand of gray that I have right there. And it's a little dirty. Um, so my hair is obviously growing out. It's like two different colors. I got a haircut early November, probably due for another one. But like this is, and this is usually what my hair looks like. It is like usually down. It's usually straight with like a little wave to it, like not pin straight, a little volume. Or it is naturally curly, which you have seen on here before. So we're going to go through every single headband that I own. I've sold a few. I've returned a few. Um, sometimes if they don't work out for me and then my sister is actually currently wearing one I'm filming this Friday during the New York blizzard and my sister's at work and she has on one of my newest headbands um, and I will try to insert a picture or I will leave the link below if it's still available but it's just like a knit it's like a white knit headband with the knot the classic Lily knot and it has um like a, like a little bit of brown and beige sewn into it. Um, and it's called French Toast. Like the color is French Toast. And it's one of my favorite headbands. It looks really nice with like a lot of different outfits. But 
I'm going to show you, let's get into it. It's, it, this is a long video already. So I'm going to show, or I don't, I'm not really going to go in any particular order, but I guess we can start with the headbands that I usually have displayed right on my little shelf. And they are in my Shoni Clover, obviously, Lili Sadugi, um, black open top so this is a vegan leather open top from stony clover they collabed oh my god it's so dusty that's gr oh my god that's disgusting ew oh my god that's so gross Ugh. okay <laughs> so lily sadugi and stony clover have done a lot of collaborations together which um they were it was probably my first lily headband which we will get into but one of, for their first collaboration, they also collaborated on um, an open top. So they had a few different colors. I think it was black, maybe sand, and maybe pink is maybe the guava color. So you have like both logos and then it's vegan leather. And then the inside has the mirror and also Lily's logo versus um, a di like versus just like black inside or white whatever colors are usually inside stony clover open tops so yeah so i keep my headbands displayed i don't think i've ever taken my headbands out of here and i usually have all like my decorative ones displayed up there and i change them with the seasons which we will get into that so let's start with these so first up and i'll probably have to take my glasses off at some point um but i feel like i just need my glasses today oh so first up is the classic black pearl and this is probably like my most worn but yet it's still oh, i feel like myself when i put my crown on um and i don't usually i mean like i wear my headband straight but you could see like it makes my head and my ears look a little like big so i i try to stick to wearing my headbands when i have like curly hair which is most of the time um but this is probably my most worn headband. Like my my ex-boyfriend always used to say like Brianna always has a headband in her hair and like everybody like knows like I always I always have a headband on and this is my definitely my most worn cuz I think it's classic. It's like subtle versus like some of my other headbands but still like very very elevated and it really just like sometimes makes an outfit. So like the black pearl is a is like a standard in my life i do think that if you are interested in lily sudoki headbands but you don't want like a plain headband but you don't want something a little more crazy like what i'm going to show you i think a pearl headband is like like a must so and i mean this is i've probably started buying lily headbands in like 2019 before the pandemic and i mean she's in good shape and it's um like linen material and it's just the beautiful white pearls next is another pearl and this is called gingerbread it is faux leather i think i got this last christmas um this one's nice this was like because it's leather it obviously feels different on your head compared to this one but it is still nice and tight um i hate when the headbands are loose it does feel a little more like overstated because it's leather and because it's like that um beige color but i love this one and she doesn't get like enough love from me um and even though it's leather i've worn this in the summer and my sister has worn this a lot um in the summer because it really does go with everything so love the gingerbread and a lot of these might not some of these might not be available but there's always like a variation so like lily does still have like leather headbands if she doesn't have that particular one and lily's also sold nordstrom anthropology revolve shop bop bloomingdale sat everywhere she sold everywhere she's an icon this is like one of my favorite um and this is a sweater material so it's like a cardigan but pearls and it's gray and this is like great for year round but this definitely gives me like winter cozy huggy vibes because of the sweater and it just looks really really nice and it's like nice pearls this one's a little looser than the other ones and feels a little more delicate because of the sweater material and i'm gonna try to fly through these because i have a lot and we're already 10 minutes in um, but yeah, it's just like really, really beautiful. And I love the, the sweater and the sweater material. I think it's really unique. So you could see like 
what makes Lily's headband so unique, I think, is the inside and the shape of it because it does not give me a headache. It really doesn't feel like there's anything on your head. And this, the inside, her, um, like where her logo is, is um, like almost like a suede. So it's very comfortable. Um, and you could see that like obviously it extends, the material extends out. So when you are putting it on, you have to have a little care to make sure that it's not like like jumbled like that. But like I said, I have these always stored in this um, in this open top and then I'll show you some other storage. But I mean, I haven't had any issues, knock on wood. This is another great one, lots of pearls. This one's very tight on my head, but it's like a green, um, it's a green color. It is similar material to the black, but I think a little sturdier. Be and I also think because this is a newer headband, they might have like used different material. This one I wear a lot and it's, it's interesting because I wear this a lot, but it's still extremely tight on my head. You can see, I mean, my ears stick out a little and my hair is like dirty and very staticky and knotty, but I just think it's nice to like pull your hair back. And obviously I have no makeup on right now. I'm just like a disaster. I just wanted to like get jump in and film this video while I had the time. But if you like that, very nice. And then I know a lot of people, like one of my favorite influencers, Zoe, sometimes just goes like this. And I think that that's nice too. I don't do that a ton because I like to have my hair out of my face, but this is one of my favorites and it's like a nice green color i think it's super unique but still a neutral okay um i wasn't going to oh actually yeah let's we'll just i want to do i'm trying to think should i do stony clover i'm gonna do stony clover headbands together so we'll wait for that but here's another one this is my this might be my favorite one in my collection. It's a silk headband. It's that burnt orange and it has gold stars. This is this was like a dream headband and this one's very expensive, but I think I got it on sale. Um, She also has a black one like this that I've had to talk myself out of buying forever. Um, But this is like my fall headband. This is like a fall vibe. And this one, this one's a little heavier than the others. I think just because of the silk and because of the gold stars, like the stars are like, they're hard um and the pearls are just a little lighter but this is definitely a heavier headband but it's like one of my favorites like oh my god she is a moment she's gorge so some of so these headbands that i'm going to show you now are in my stony clover aurora large pouch i mean like look how beautiful this pouch is so i keep so I was like having problems like trying to store all my headbands and I was storing them all in their dust bags, which we will get to. And I was like, I need to, I need like a better system. So I have my like sparkly ones that I keep up there. And like this one was in there during the fall, but then since it was winter, I moved her out and I put her in here and I try to keep like my most worn in here and I just keep them in a drawer. Um, maybe I'll show you once I put everything back, I'll show you, um, the like where I keep everything but I so this is what I was talking about this is like my drawer like on my dresser and I have all of the headbands in here and then in the back you could see like the like seasonal ones and then I just have like some other stuff <laughs> my J Crew cashmere slippers I have some of my cotton pads but then I have like my brushes and then another stony clover thing filled with like clips and other headbands like workout headbands and like scrunchies and stuff like that so that's what this drawer is and then just hidden away so yeah just that's keep that. them out of their dust bags because they're my most they're my most worn um and then I put I put away my summer headbands into the dust bags and I keep them in the back of my drawer so that's that but yeah okay so now another so th those are really all my embellished ones aside from the stony clover ones, which I will show you at the end because I want to do them all together. So this is another fall one that I love. It's like that houndstooth. Um, it's like a wool material, not as soft as the gray pearl sweater. Um, like a little schoolgirl moment. And I wear this one a lot in the fall and winter, obviously, because it's houndstooth. So you feel like it is, um, I'm just getting emails. 
um so you feel like a little more like academia vibes i really really like this one um and she holds up she's held up quite well she's a little looser on my head um but that's also because my sister wears this sometimes and she has a bigger head than i do so she stretches them out but yeah you could see i don't know why i'm holding it upside down here is like it's come off a little bit like the material has kind of shifted but it's still totally fine oh this is a this is a crazy headband and i but i couldn't not buy it so this is a cozy headband and it's like a sherpa material and they Lily released these last year around the same time that Stony Clover released their cozy collection and I was like in like that Sherpa mood and Sherpa's obviously still like very big this year. I don't know when the Sherpa bubble's gonna break but whatever. Then she had it in hot pink which I'm very tempted to get and a camel color which I'm also very tempted to get but it just looks a little ridiculous. Like I don't wear this out of the house because it's the it's like such a large knot and it makes my ears stick out so I don't wear this one a ton like I almost want to pin my ears back like it looks a little ridiculous on me so I really kind of just wear this in the house um I've never worn it like this which it probably looks a little better but like I don't know I love it, but I, I probably won't get rid of it. And this one also is very loose on my head because it's such a light. I mean, this is like the lightest headband ever. There's nothing to it. It's just fur. So I feel like I don't, and I feel like it's a little crooked. Like I just, and I just don't like how my ears come out. It's just a strange headband, but I love it because it's cozy. Um, Two more. This one my sister wears a lot and it's just like beat up, but it's just a linen headband. It's just plain white. It's very dirty. I don't wear this a lot. She wears it and I, if I do wear it, it's mostly in the summer. But um, I feel like my face is just like not, whatever. Um, yeah, I just, I really like, I like how I look in a headband, not with like my straight dirty hair that's like very flat. It's like, when I have like voluminous hair, a headband just looks so good on me. I probably should have curled my hair for this, but you've seen me in headbands. But yeah, it's just like very dirty. I don't wear this a ton. And this is, this might be, uh, this is like probably like my second newest and I love her. She's so cute. It's like a rose gold blush and it has like the rose like design and it is um not as soft as silk, but I do think it's a silk material and she is like a year round headband. Like she can be worn whenever. She is a true neutral. I love her so much. Like this headband, I when I saw it, I was like, I need that headband. Like there is, it's very rare that I, it's not rare that I see a headband that I'm like, oh my God, I have to have it. But it's like, sometimes I have to be like convinced. This was not one that I needed to be convinced. I love her. And she's nice and snug on my head, but not too, not too tight. Um, That was all that I had in this bag. We will move on to summer headbands before going into Stony Clover. Oh, this is another one that I did not have to be convinced. This is a linen headband, like the same material that this one is, white, but the gold stars. Stunning. I think she released this during Valentine's Day last year, and she had a red one, but I'm not like bold enough for a red headband, so I went with the white. And she's not too dirty, and I think it's probably because of the hearts. You could see, like, there's a little discoloration up here, and that's probably just from, like, putting it back when you have makeup on. And you could see here she's got some makeup on her. Um, you could see here it's, like, filthy. I haven't tried to clean these yet. I don't know why. I don't know if – I don't know how. So we'll have to figure that out together. But every Lily headband comes in this very nice dust bag. Reminds me like very Henry, Henry Bendel-esque. And I love it. And I keep my like more seasonal ones. Like this to me, like, yeah, it could be worn all year round. But I knew I wasn't probably going to wear it during this um, time. 
because of like fall winter it's like white and has hearts so I was like I'll probably like bring her out now since it's Valentine's Day but I keep them in their dust bags and this is how I was storing all my headbands um until I decided to like have them more accessible and just like in the back of my drawer so that's that one then I have that's stony clover oh this is an embellished one that I had to have it is pink it's called pink confetti it was like a very sought after and I got her on sale at anthropology this one's a little loose on my head and I'm not really sure why but she's like a cotton candy pink I have just hair in my eye my eyes are so bad with my eczema like it's horrible uh, and my ears are all red from putting the headbands on but yeah so you could see she has like the different colored like they're not pearls I guess they're just beads um and I I wear her a lot in the summer I don't know why I keep saying her I wear this headband a lot in the spring and summer obviously because it's like it has that like summery vibe and she, it's one of my favorites but it is a little loose on my head so I feel like I didn't get a lot of wear out of her this year um because it does feel very loose but it's like one of my it's probably like my top in my top five favorites and she stays in her bag now um here is a love shack one so love shack also has done a lot of collaborations with Lily Sadugi. I think they currently have one, but I wasn't really like into any of them. Oh my god, my eye. Um, and they this one came in this dust bag. I had another Love Shack that I sold. Um, so and it was pearls, and it was super loose on my head, and I just like was. I was like, I need to get rid of this. But this one's nice because it is very like springy and summery. But it's still like a very neutral-ish. And I, I like I like this one. And it's like this one's probably the most comfortable because of the, I don't know, I guess it's a cotton material. I don't even know. It's not linen. It's not like sweater. It's so comfortable. And it's like it adds a little pop. Like if you're just wearing something very plain or you're wearing all black, this looks so good with it. I'm obsessed with this. And it's not embellished. So now we get into Stony Clover. Now Stony Clover, I have at least one one headband from every collaboration they've done. I think I'm missing. Actually, no, I have one from every collaboration they've done. Um, the Stony Clover headbands they've and they've done one, two, three, four, five. five. They might have even done more. They might have done like one more that I don't think I have. Um, I don't remember. But the Sony Clover Lily headbands are made of nylon, so they're very comfortable. Um, and I have one, two, three, I have five of them. So we'll start from plainest up. So this is like a holy grail. I wear, this is my most worn headband. I do not go anywhere without this headband to the point where I went to Charleston. In, this is such a long video. I went to Charleston in the end of September. I, I, I had this headband in my like carry-on because I didn't know if I would need a headband. It's like, it's like my, I called it my emergency headband. It's just Noir and they're all in Stony Clover color. So it's Noir and it's nylon, black, simple. I th I wear this every single day. Like not, at least once a day, this headband's on my head, whether it's to like apply my skincare, just to like get a little relief. I love this headband. This is my favorite one. Like, ugh. So you have the nylon material and then the Lily. Oh, I don't know what that was. Lily um, logo. And it's, even the inside is nylon and it has, wow, it has on, it has this stony clover. You can't even really see it. Logo. So that's that one. Then we have this one and it is the color lilac um and it has the pearls this one I wear a good bit in the summer it's very comfortable it's a little loose on my head um it's not like as snug but it gets the job done and I think that lilac is like is very unique because you could wear it with a lot because it's so light you can barely even tell that it's like purple 
I, I, I like this one. I've thought about selling it only because I feel like I don't wear it enough, but we'll see. Then we have Pumpkin Spice. This was from the fall collection last year, and um, it has the Mother of Pearl Hearts, which is the, aside from... Aside from the white heart, this is the only heart headband I had. I have I have bought another heart one that was like um seersucker and it was like a linen or it was like a, like a sweater material, but it was so heavy, yet it was it it was like flying off my head. I returned it. I didn't like it at all. Um so this is that and it's the pumpkin spice nylon. She is also not very snug on my head, um, and I've thought about selling her as well, just because I don't, like, I didn't wear this headband once this fall, um, because I was, like, so obsessed with my star one and the French toast one that I really didn't wear it, so I don't know. I might sell, I might sell this, but it is nice. I do like the Mother of Pearl Hearts. It just, like, adds a little something, and the orange color is really nice because it's, like, orange without being too orange. Now, this is an aggressive headband, and everybody makes fun of me wearing it when I wear it, but I had to have it. This is my Pastel Pink Picnic Watermelon Headband, and this is the first crystal headband I have from Lily. Are you going to tell me this isn't the most gorgeous accessory you've ever seen in your entire life? This one's really snug on my head and it looks like it you it's a it's a moment. Like it's very it's it's overstated. It's a statement. So you have to wear this at the right time. But like do you die? Do you die? Ugh, it's a crown. It's a crown. I'm obsessed. It's so so nice. Like ugh. The only way the thing okay, so the thing is and you could see it. The thing with these crystals is that they get your hair gets caught in them because they're literally like crystals, crystal hearts. Like it's just a lot, but I love her. I would really, 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 really love the um, sparkling cider crystal. So if you have the sparkling cider crystal and you want to like sell it or maybe trade it for this or this, hit a girl up because I really want sparkling cider. But um, the Stony also, I think it's important to note, the Stony Clover Lily headbands come in this clear dust bag because this is how Stony Clover packages their pouch patches and like a lot of their small accessories. So when it says Lily Stoogie Stony Clover. So I, in the summer, I will display this one and I will put like this in this bag, but yeah. And finally, my most recent purchase and probably my favorite headband in this collection is the Sand Crystal. This is from the most recent Stony Clover collab they did in like December. You know that TikTok sound? Like, let's a moment for the dress. Like, a moment for this freaking headband. Are you kidding me? This is a crown. This is like a tiara. I love this headband. It's so light on my head. It fits. It's the perfect amount of tightness and um, looseness <laughs> that it doesn't, like, it doesn't hurt. It's so beautiful. It was quite expensive. So yeah, this is a stunner. Um, oh, so that is the entire collection with the exception of one, which my sister is wearing. This is what the inside of the Lily pouch um, looks like. And you, I think like you can fit like a few headbands in here if you were to travel. When I traveled and brought my headbands, I just put them in their dust bags. Um leave this on but yeah that is my entire headband collection I feel like I had more but I think I I've sold like a decent amount of them recently 
um, just because I wasn't wearing them and I wanted to make room for new ones and I realized that like I could probably go through and like sell a few of these too like I could probably sell the cozy I could probably sell like this one maybe um so I'm, I'm not sure I have to think about it but yeah that is the entire collection um a half hour later um if you have any Lily Sadugi questions please let me know um she also has been really branching out into um jewelry and handbags and socks and she makes the best best face masks I mean I know we're not supposed to be wearing cloth masks anymore but hers are the most comfortable and I find myself reaching constantly for them um she's ma she makes a lot of great stuff she doesn't just make headbands but now also she's making scrunchies she makes bows she makes like a bunch of stuff um she does have a few new like silhouettes that aren't because all of these headbands have the knot on them she makes some that are a little thinner and just like kind of go straight back they don't have the knot I'm like considering one of them I don't know because I do like the height that the these headbands give me and that's probably one of the reasons that I love them the most but the other ones have more of like a Blair Waldorf true feeling um but yeah that's the whole collection thank you for watching thank you for requesting this video and just make sure all most of these most of this or like similar ones will be linked below but follow me on instagram at brie lukes follow me on tiktok at royally pink life follow my blog royallypink.com facebook twitter um pinterest all that good stuff and make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next video